Hello everyone. Today I would like you to introduce you another member of the flu family, which you probably already know. They are the recorders. Here they are. Ta -da! Wait a minute. You only know one recorder, right? Which is probably this one. You've been playing that when you were in year three. And that one, or this one we call soprano recorder. Now, let me introduce you a smaller one of the same family. This one. We are calling this sopranino recorder. Let's look at the size. Soprano, sopranino. The soprano recorder is in the key of C, which means if you press every finger, that's the C. Now on the other hand, sopranino recorder is in the key of F, which means if I press every finger, oh now it's smaller so I have to look at it. You, you can see my hand are all next to each other now. My, all my fingers. And this is in the key of F, so this is an F. Now you can compare the fingerings. Look at my finger. This is a little bit far apart, you see? Now, the next one is called an alto. It's slightly bigger, and it's actually more widely used in, in the professionals, or in the old time. In the old time, this one is called a flute as well. And the flute that you are playing is called transverse flute or the side blown flute. Or in the old day we call it traverso. Um, there is another video that I introduce you what is the traverso. But this one, if you look at the old music, they call this flute. Now this one I made myself from Sherry Wood when I learned how to make flute. Let's try the sound of the three. Now, let's try the sinus size recorder. It's called a sopranino. It has a very high voice. Now let's play the soprano recorder, the one that you are familiar with. Now, let's try the sound of the outer flute. First of all, before I play, you can see that my fingers are really apart and it's quite difficult for me to, to play this as well. Today's song is Mexican Clapping Song. Let's try to read the music. Again, every good boy does fine. What is the first note? Where, where is it? The first note is on the third line. Every good boy. So it's a B. And the next two notes are the, both of, all of them in the line. B, oh by the way, whenever I say B or E in this song, they are either B flat or E flat. So in this case, B flat, B flat, and then next line, D, F, D, B flat, and then the next note is in the space, remember F, A, C, E. Space, here is the A. So, B flat, 
B flat, D, F, D, B flat, A. Let's try that slowly. One, two, three. Song. So, but we can also play the music next to, to when we clap those two notes R, G, and F. Let's try it one more time. One, two, three. Music. <clears throat> F A C E. Remember F A C E. These are the five line staff. And the next group of notes are all in space A, A, C, E flat, C, A. The last note is in the line. It's A, B flat. Let's try playing that. One. Two, three. Good job. Also, there are two claps after this. Let me do the clapping too. One, two, three. Instead of the clap, there are also the notes in the music. Let's try that. One, two, three. Rest. Good job. Shall we try the entire song? One, two, three. Rest. 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 with the clap. One and two and three and this song did you realize when I start this song instead of counting one two three four I'm counting only one two three then we start mm, is there any reasons why the reason is the time signature in this music is in three four or in other words check out after the clef there is number three and number four it means we counting three beats per one bar. That's and it's one. When we count one, two, three, one, two, three. Instead of a lot of other songs or most of the songs that you know, you would probably count one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four. The three four is slightly different. It's one, which is a strong beat. So one is always a strong beat. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Now, your turn to play with the backing track. Now, you know 
the three sizes of recorder. Try to search on the internet on the bigger sizes or even smaller size of recorder. See you next time. That boat is called Long Tail Boat. It's quite noisy. And I'm glad there are some people on the boat. And in front of me is Temple of the Dawn, or we call Wat Arun. In front of Jaapia River.